Hello, hello, welcome back to a new video about the Dashcourse web, uh, Dashcourse platform. My name is Johan and I will be your host in this video. Okay, so in the last video we actually um, managed to create something called the publish job. And the whole idea about the publish job is actually that we are running a discardable function called query. And we actually are querying uh, all the content like guides, articles, courses and sessions. And we actually are using multiple for in loops to actually change the... Um, uh, yeah to change the status the only thing is i know that we're using multiple for loops here and it is actually not a good good way to do this so i'm actually looking into a better way to do this but we're actually going to do that in another video and yeah but because i'm now addicted to creating new jobs we can actually create another job and we're going to go to file and we're actually going to call this um, um check user no check subscription status just like this so the whole idea about the uh, about, about the user um, about the status is actually that the user can decide if they want um, yeah if they want like their um, how do you call this if they are subscribed and still when the subscription uh, goes so say let's say you subscribe for a month right so you subscribed on the first that means you get like 30 days or 31 days and you actually subscribe till the first first of the next month so what actually means is that we can actually run this function automatically to check if the user um, to check if the user's um, subscription is still active so for example you subscribe for a full year right so this function actually checks you every month oh he's still subscribed okay in the moment when the subscription is equal to the date of today then we're actually gonna say like okay he's not he's not subscribed anymore and we're actually gonna empty the day we're actually gonna empty the date uh, of the of the user as well okay and we're actually gonna change the status or their um, role back to registered so let me see how we did this here mm -hmm. okay let's also import fluent just in case so import fluent then we have struct and in the struct uh, this is gonna be check subscription status and this is going to be an async scheduled job so this actually means that we're actually going to schedule this job like multiple times a day or maybe once a day i mean to be completely honest um, if you for example you subscribe at um at 12 at night or like 11 uh, 59 at night and the uh, and the month later it actually checks at eight o'clock and the date is not the same i'm not gonna how do you call this i'm not gonna be the guy who's like oh my god he got one day for free i really don't care about that stuff okay so let me think um so what we so what we actually have to do we actually have to check for the user right so i think we can actually now do this here and here as well so let the users equal to um try await user model dot query on context dot context dot application dot db just like this dot and we're gonna filter and we're actually gonna filter on the um, dash dot um what was it again we're gonna filter up the subscription is active subscription is active still and now we actually have to check like the day the, this is the problem so we actually have to check uh, for the date of today mm, okay so then we can actually say equal to date so this actually checks if the subscription is active is actually equal to the date of today we're actually going to do dot all okay and we can actually do in do like for users or for i in users um let me think we can actually do i dot um uh, subscription is active till it's equal to nil equal to nil now we can actually do i dot 
Mm, let me check. That is going to be the roll. It's equal to. Um, what was it again? Um, roll enum. Dot. Register dot raw value. And then I dot save on rec.db. No, not rec. It's actually going to be. Um, context dot application dot db just like this oh yeah of course try wait try await so theoretically this is everything that we need to check if a user is subscribed or not and when the user is not uh, when the subscription ends we're actually gonna change the subscription to nil and we're actually going to change the role back to a register.raw value. And then we're actually going to save it to the application. So there is actually one problem with this. And this is actually one that I really, that we actually need to look at, or I need to look at. Is when we go to Postman really quick to here, we actually are saving the whole date. So actually saving the, the year, the month, the day, the hours. The minutes and the seconds and i actually just we're actually gonna look into it if we can actually just save this but for that we actually have to format the whole date and i have to look into that how we actually gonna do that the best way in this case but theoretically this is actually everything we need to do this is everything so all the users are queried or all the users actually uh, with the subscription is active till from today for example and then they all change back. So for I and users, I dot subscriptions active till nil. Then we update the role to registered and then try rate I dot save. This way they don't have access to the to the courses anymore because to be to have access to courses and everything, you actually has to have to be a student. And then the user actually has to resubscribe um, to get access again. Okay, so let's save this. Let's go back to configure. Now we can actually create a new job here. So let uh, check subscription status job it's equal to check subscription status job this. Oh, I think we need to add a job here. Okay, and now we can actually run app.queues.schedule and this one is going to be the check subscriptions chat status and let's do this one uh, yeah you know what actually the best thing would be every second now because we actually didn't format it but we're actually going to do it daily okay and then we can actually say like dot at time so we can actually say like every morning uh, the 24 hour time to run the job at um, let me check really quick yeah so let's take this one and I think this is going to be 08 zero, zero. yeah I think this is the way so every morning at 8 o'clock they're actually checking if the subscription is still active and otherwise the end subscription so this is really cool. We actually created the second job for checking the subscription status. And yeah, I think we are, are close. We're actually really close on uh, to finishing this uh, API. And this is really cool. So um, in the next video, we're going to look at the date format. So if we, that we're actually going to add a different date format to the, um, uh, to the system so that we get, so that we can actually run this job more efficiently. The same with this one. So the published job because then we can actually check and then we actually don't need to run this application every second but maybe every minute or maybe every day as well and then we don't have to worry about it okay so this was also uh, a, a little bit of a hard video because i never i never worked with jobs before so it was actually really searching for me but yeah i think it actually is working out very well okay so I want to thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions make sure to uh, hit me up on Discord or hit me up uh, in the comments below and I will be there to answer all your questions. Okay, thank you for watching and let's go to the next video.